Hi traders, welcome to this update video for the real-time correlation indicator from FX Ergo Trader, 27th of May 2015. Um, the old indicator was a bit difficult because it wouldn't allow you to make changes to the, the way that the data is displayed on the screen. Um, you had a pretty much one text size which you could use, which was this size, which uh, people had trouble reading. And then when you increased the actual text size up to uh, nine, often what would happen is it will kind of clash together. So we've just made some changes to this, as you can see here. And you can now use up to 12 point text if you want to. Um, that's the maximum it will go to. Uh, let me just put it on 12. Text size 12, so pretty big and all the symbol titles are now bolded. You can also adjust things like the uh, correlation title color, which is this section up here, which is the title of the indicator. So you can have that whatever you like. Uh, you can also adjust uh, the pair text color as well. So that's the, the actual, the main sort of X and Y pair data here. So if you want to make that something uh, to your suiting, you can, and there you go. So you can see the changes replicated there. I'll just show you the correlation title color changing just because that looks a bit similar to the other one. Uh, so let's change that to something a bit lighter. There you go, that's changed. Um, you can also adjust the vertical spacing. So at the moment we're using 20 as our vertical spacing. So if you want to make this take it down the screen a little bit it takes 25 you can see it's beginning to space out now uh, and so on um, and that is kind of about it well, the only th other thing I've done is I've just added some descriptions here just for the main external parameters um, so the other thing oh yes the other thing I did was if you set only show positives to true you're just going to get the positively correlated pairs, as you can see here. So the, the colors in green. Um, obviously, the same thing for if you say only show negatives, you're just going to get the negatives, as you can see. Okay. And if you set both of them to true, uh, which is a pretty bad idea because you effectively you've got a logically impossible condition, i.e., you can't only show positives and only show negatives because that's just not possible to do so if you do set that both to true you get nothing and you get this alert popping up saying you've set both show positives and show negative correlations to true choose one not both so in order to do that you just go back to your external input parameters scroll down to only show positives or just turn, turn either one turn either to false or just select one so I'm just going to go back to the beginning and there you go everything is back to normal so uh, hopefully a bit of an improvement in terms of display options for for um, people who struggle to see the conventional or the old school text size 8 um, which uh, admittedly was quite small um, that's, that was basically the stock size and actually with a slightly uh, smaller line spacing on the vertical axis so it was 20 on the vertical axis so there you go that was the stock indicator as it came out of the box um, now if you out of the box it's slightly bigger um, in terms of the default value so if I just reload it on this chart I've gone to text size 9 uh, so a little bit bigger, but again, it's completely up to up to you how you um, display it now. So all the customer, all, all customers who are using this real time correlation indicator, uh, I've got a lot more control now over um, the display and sizing options. So there you go, quick update for you. That's uh, going to that's now uh, live in the uh, download area for customers who've got uh, reference numbers and IDs. Um, you can see that at www.fxalgotrader.com. Thanks for watching.